Hello everybody, this is Travis and welcome back to Coffee, Computers and More. You know, if you're like me and you're the kind of person that's always writing down ideas and dates and information and you don't want to misplace those items, uh, you might find yourself going through a lot of notebooks, agendas, endless post-it notepads and so on. Well, I think I found a, a way to, to balance out the use of paper with uh, modern technology. So what we have here is what's called the Rocketbook Core Set. Uh, if you're not familiar with Rocketbook, it basically uses an app on your phone and a reusable notebook that's going to let you keep track of all of your items and store them in one secure place so you can get to them easily. Uh, so I just in the nature of full disclosure, I did get this on sale at Amazon for $16. If you go to the Rocketbook website, the $34 set is going to be the letter size notebook. I got the executive size notebook, which is a little bit smaller. Now that would normally be 32 bucks, but I paid 16 bucks over on Amazon. And what's nice about it is you use what's called a friction pin. This is gonna be included in the core set, and then also a lint-free cloth that you're gonna to use to wipe off the pages. Um, the nice thing about the friction pin is that it is made by Pilot. It is kind of a standard pen that's out there. They make a variety of colors and, and uh, thicknesses and style, so it's not like it's just a one-off with one type of pen you can choose from. So if you like to write multiple colors or have, say, hard highlighters or marker-style pens, you have that option too. Uh, and they're also erasable. All right, so what we're gonna do is just a little unboxing of the Rocketbook to see what this is all about. We're gonna get it set up, and I'm kind of learning how this works along with you, and we'll talk about what some of the features are as we get there. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's do a unboxing, so to speak, and get this thing started. Go ahead and open up the package. Now let's see some of the features that it has. It says erase with moisture. Um, this Rocketbook notebook's endlessly reusable and can be used with any pen in the Pilot Friction line. Uh, it says the pages look and feel like normal paper, but are actually composed of a synthetic polymer blend. And within 10 to 15 seconds, your writing dries firmly bonded to the page to erase, wipe with a moist towel and dry. Um, I've also been told you can use just uh, traditional um, uh, lint-free cloths if you want to that just need to be moist. Uh, you'll be cloud connected with Drive, Dropbox, Box, Slack, Email, OneNote, Evernote, iCloud, iMessage, and OneDrive. So you can essentially, I believe, send your pictures off to those places. Oh, the last thing too is depending on which icon you mark, that's going to determine where your pictures are going to go. So you can send them off to your choice of email address or storage location. They give you seven different symbols and using the app, you can actually decide where those items are going to go. All right, let's go and open it up and see what it looks like. I'm really kind of interested about the texture of these uh, pages to see what they're like to write on. Okay, so here's your actual book size. Again, I said I got the executive size, which is maybe about, oh, about two thirds the size of a standard notebook page, but I wanted something smaller for when I walk around. Uh, you've got an instruction manual that comes with it that tells you what to do, how to write, how to scan, example of uses. Now, you can also use permanent marker on these pages. You won't be able to erase it, I don't believe. But when it's on there, you could make up, say, a nice calendar grid that you could reuse every month if you want to. I know I end up having to buy a planner every year at the cost of $25 to $30 uh, with the type of planner that I use. Also, on the inside, you can jot down which accounts these different symbols are going to take you to, which is nice. There's also a QR code, which it's going to scan. And I'm not sure if there's a particular QR code that that's for each page, it looks like they're unique. Now this does have a grid dot system on it, which is really cool. You can also get it with lines if you wanna go that route too. But like I said, I was trying to get the least ex expensive one possible. Looks like I've got close to maybe 20 sheets in here. Let's go to the back. Yeah, and you've got a nice uh, durable cover also, plastic coated, so it's gonna definitely hold up. Uh, the pages themselves, they just kind of feel like standard pages. We'll just do some writing and then take a few photos and see what happens in the whole process. So let's go ahead and check out that pen. Now the pens run about five bucks for a three pack, which is really not that bad. When it comes to pens, you can pretty much spend whatever you want. Here's your lint-free cloth that comes along with it. Uh, the only thing I will say about that is some people do have like a little water pen that has water in it and they do like to use that to kind of dampen up the ink and then wipe it off with the towel. So having the towel with you could be a little bit inconvenient. You know, you're going to have to have a source of moisture to wipe it off, but it is good that you get the little lint-free cloth that comes along with it so you can use it. All right, now what about the actual pen itself? Let's get that out. Uh, the pens, you know, you can find them on clearance from time to time also, so it's not like you have to drop a lot of money in their pens. All right, so here's the pen. It says friction line. Looks like there's some sort of a eraser on the back of it. We'll try that and just see what happens. It says erasable. Now, if that means erasable because of this eraser or erasable because of the lint, the lint cloth that you're going to be using, lint-free cloth. So let's just go ahead and write something down. This is a 0.7, maybe millimeter size um, pen head that's on here, ball that's on here. Okay, so we'll put, hello, welcome to the channel. You gotta forgive me, my handwriting is absolutely atrocious. Uh, real easy to write. I mean, it's it flows well. 
Uh, it seems like you can kind of control the how dark your, your, your color is when you're riding by the angle that you're holding at. The pen is really comfortable to use. Okay, no problems there. Let's just do a little smiley face on this one. Do a little frowny face on this one. Okay. And what we'll do is go ahead and show you and learn together how the app actually works. All right, so for the app itself, I'm not sure how well this is gonna show up on here. The app is really easy to use. You just need to register with it when you're all set to go. There's no cost at all, which is really nice. You have a history where your history of pictures you've taken are gonna show up. You also have a smart list that you can send your pictures to if you want to. Uh, you can do a new scan by pressing in the middle and when you hover over, it's gonna take a picture, I believe automatically of the page or I can actuate it. It says position the page within the screen, no need to tap the shutter button. Okay, cool. We'll just kind of scroll and see if it does the pages automatically or what kind of a delay is gonna be involved with it. Um, you can explore is what it says. And then also destinations. So I'm going to go ahead and just cross out the diamond. So this goes to my Gmail account. And you can also choose more options, like if you want it to go as a PDF natively or a different format, which is really cool. Bundle scans, auto send, OCR transcription. I'm sure there's more on here than what I really need. I just want a simple place where I can put my pages. Now, another thing about this is you're gonna say, well, can you just take pictures of your notebook pages and just go that route? You could, but then you gotta try to find them in the photo album and try not to lose them or accidentally delete them. Where here, they're gonna go directly to the app so you can retrieve them. All right, so let's go ahead and mark up those pages quick so that they go to the diamond. Hopefully it's gonna pick that up, I'm not sure. There we go, I'll go ahead and mark off the frowny face. So three pages, something real simple to test out and then we're gonna test the erasing and uh, we will go from there. Again, if you can't see it, it shows up really, really well right there on the page. All right, so new scan, here we go. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay, there we go. So it automatically clicked. Let's go ahead and do the next one. Like I said, there's a little QR code in the corner, so I'm not sure if that's what it's reading or what it's doing. All right, I've got kind of just low light in the room that I'm working in right now. Okay, it says, great job, review your scans here. So we're gonna press next, transcribing. Okay, not sure how long this is gonna take. I'm on Wi-Fi right now, so that might speed things up just a little bit. Uh, let's see, blast your notes to the cloud. Okay, well let's send it and let's see where they go. Great, you just sent your first scan. So I'm probably gonna get an email here showing up pretty soon, pretty soon showing me uh, where all these different uh, pictures went. All right, so let's go ahead and exit out of here and see if we can find the pictures. So we go over to history and it does show newest scans. Here's one of them, one of two. They're gonna be showing up here eventually, okay. Hopefully that third page is gonna make it here soon. I'm not sure if it didn't. All right, we'll go to smart list, which I don't have anything on the smart list right now. Let's go back to history. All right, so it may be sending that third page. We're gonna go ahead and scan that first page one more time and see what's going on. Like I said, I'm learning it with you guys in real time. Okay, it did take it. There we go. Okay, so I'm still having a little bit of trouble getting that first page to go, so let's go ahead and erase. Okay, that works great. That takes the ink right off. I wouldn't do this for a full page, but maybe it wasn't able to see that little X through the diamond there. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and try this one more time. Ah, okay, I see what happened, guys. I feel really, really stupid. So I forgot to hit the little forward arrow for next that's going to transcribe them. I had no idea. So yeah, anyway, my bad on that. You hit send, it's now sent the pictures. All right, now we'll go back to history and see if they are there. There we go, now they're showing up. All right, gotta watch out for that little arrow at the very end. Okay, very interesting. Okay, so let's go ahead and just wipe off the pages with the cloth and see how they look. Okay, let's go ahead and wipe off the page. Oh, it comes right off. It just kind of reminds me of like a dry eraser board. Now, the one thing about this too is that I think they say there's about a 30 day limit to how long you wanna leave the ink on the paper. I believe that it'll start to fade after a while, if I'm not mistaken. So you wanna limit yourself. I would say once you fill up a page, go ahead and just take a picture of it. Or if you're gonna be doing like a monthly planner, you know, within 30 days, you wanna write down as much as you can uh, for the next month and then take your picture so that you don't lose it. Yeah, the page is clean right up. They come off nice and clean. Here we go. Not sure if you can see it, but uh, everything's coming right off. 
All right, so what are my thoughts on it? Okay, now that I figured out the software, um, I can see that this is gonna be very flexible. I've already got a bunch of items I need to write down on it this evening that I'm gonna go ahead and store because I always worry about losing them on other apps and so on. There we go. Okay, very, very cool. All right, so again, aside from just the initial little software issue that I wasn't sure about, I'm gonna go ahead and give this one two thumbs up. Uh, again, if you can get these on sale or find them on clearance, if you look around, like I said, 16 bucks was not a bad price considering I spent about $25 on the moleskin. And in all honesty, all I use out of it are the 12 calendar pages and then the rest is just notes that I jot down. I could almost recreate that here for less than the same price and store digitally. So anyway, guys, this is Travis. Thank you for watching Coffee, Computers, and More as we uh, experimented with the Rocketbook core set. Um, I am happy with it. I'm going to kind of play around with it a little bit more and see what kind of other flexibility it offers. But they do have different templates that you can check out for template ideas. You can buy a variety of different rocket books with a bunch of different pre-printed templates in them also. You're not just stuck using uh, the lines and the grids and so on. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. This is Travis Coffee, Computers, and more. Like and subscribe. And we will see you soon. All right. Bye-bye.